Week Wii U sales left Nintendo booking a loss for the third straight year and intensified the clamor from investors for a change in tack as new consoles from rivals Sony Corporation and Microsoft Corporation meet market share. And Nintendo has dismissed calls to take advantage of a boom in games for smartphones. Instead, the company is developing hardware and games for consumers with lower incomes and less gaming experience than those in developed markets, Chief Executive Satoru Iwata told Reuters in an interview on Thursday. And, it would be difficult to enter those markets if we didn't create something new. For the mass market you need to provide something that most of the middle class can afford. He said adding that Nintendo has no plans to launch existing consoles such as the Wii U or 3DS in emerging markets. And Iwata declined to elaborate on the design and specification of such a new device and did not specify the countries beyond China, saying only that emerging markets referred to those whose gaming potential had not yet been cracked. And in China, Iwata said Nintendo would enter with a different strategy to Microsoft Corporation The U.S. rival last month said it would begin selling its Xbox One console through a Chinese partner from September in Shanghai's free trade zone after the government lifted a ban on the sale of foreign consoles there. And, we think the Chinese market has a lot of potential, but I don't think the lifting of the ban has solved all of the difficulties in entering it. We need to study it more. For us Microsoft's approach wouldn't work, Iwata said. And the chief executive said he did not believe Nintendo could capture the mass market in China by offering a console designed in price for a developed market. And to we or not to we and Nintendo on Wednesday reported an operating loss of 36 million yen, $452 million, for the business year ended March, after which its shares on Thursday fell 0.7% compared with a 0.9% rise in the benchmark index. And shipments of the handheld 3GS console reached only a third of company expectations in January-March while Nintendo sold just 2.7 million of the Wii U in the entire business year, well below its initial forecast of 9 million. And since its release in November 2012, Nintendo has sold just 6.2 million Wii U, while Sony shifted 7 million PlayStation 4 consoles within five months of its November 2013 launch. And the Wii U flop caused grumbles from investors and speculation that Nintendo would change tack to begin offering its games on smartphones and move to capitalize on its rich back catalog of characters. And, Wii U never took off, were second year sales of any console in history, and 3DS has peaked. We forecast Nintendo will continue to suffer losses until it evolves faster, wrote analysts Achille Goyle and Yuki Maeda at Jeffrey's Securities in a note published after the earnings release. And we believe Nintendo is moving in the right direction but very slowly, Goyle and Maeda wrote. And on Wednesday, Nintendo forecasts a return to profit in 201,415 saying it was counting on new game titles to spur higher sales of the Wii U and the success of the predecessor week in Seoul means the company has enough cash to support it through a few years of loss. It had 795 billion yen, $7.82 billion, to spare as of March 31. And redefining entertainment and Nintendo, which started out making playing cards, is looking to redefine entertainment as it expands its product lineup, Iwata said. And everyone, including our own employees, thinks of us as a video game company even though Nintendo has been around for 120 years and the Famicom was only released 31 years ago, he said, using the Japanese name for the Nintendo Entertainment System, the company's first hit home games console. And, Nintendo is an entertainment company but I think we need to broaden the definition of entertainment. And Iwata said Nintendo's next generation of products would be oriented towards improving customers' quality of life, including a non-wearable offering mentioned in a presentation in January that will help customers stick to you. healthy pursuits. He declined to give further details. And Nintendo will also release a smartphone app to interact with games and showcase new games before the end of the year. The company has resisted investor pressure to make its games available on mobile devices, arguing such a move would damage the integral value of its characters. 
and Iwata said Nintendo will increasingly capitalize on the value of its characters, starting with the release of high-tech figurines in time for the year-end holiday season. And details of the models, which will be able to send and receive data from games, will be announced at the E3 trade show in June. One dollar equals one oh one seven one five oh Japanese yen and editing by Christopher Kush.